Let's see, number nine is supposed to be a finger lesion in a 34-year-old female. And you'll probably know because the other, the other slide you looked at earlier, which I replaced it with, this is just a much better example than the one that I showed earlier. So, do you know what this is? I'm going to say, I think this is a myxoma, but I thought the location was weird. Okay, that's fair. It's very myxoid, right? right. So the one thing that I guess would be weird for myxoma is this is a very sharply circumscribed into lobules, right, with fibrous septa in between. Now, uh, cutaneous myxomas or superficial angiomyxoma do actually usually have lobules, but not, at least none that I've seen so many. Like these are multiple, multiple little nodules that are very tightly wrapped in collagen. So when you see something that looks myxoid and has this pattern, that's very characteristic for this entity. And uh, hand, acral surfaces are pretty good, a uh, good site for this entity. The other thing is, and this one is great. This is the first time I remember when I first saw this case and I thought, whoa, what's going on here? It looks almost like nuclear palisading, doesn't it? If you've got a good imagination, right. see those line up and there's yeah. a space there that's kind of like almost like a varicay body. So I thought, well, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that you could have that in this entity. And indeed you actually can sometimes. But if you stain this, this is S100 positive and SOX10 positive. This is a nerve sheath myxoma, which used to be called in the olden days conventional neurothechioma or myxoid neurothechioma. So this is the, the cellular neurothechioma, sometimes has areas that look a lot like this, a lot swirly and myxoid. And so people thought they were related, but these are always positive S100 and SOX10. They are true neural lesions and they look like myxoma. So like you said, they are like myxomas, um, but, they are, um, but they are actually a true neural tumor. And why I like this case, is really cool because when I first saw this case in practice, it was pretty early in my practice, I saw those palisades and I thought, oh, I wonder if maybe there's like a myxoid multinodular variant of schwannoma. And when I looked that up, actually one of the papers about nerve sheath myxoma came up. I think it was Dr. Uh, uh, Mietinen and uh, Fetch and Laskin. They wrote a real nice paper about this. And, um, and I, they said in there that things that in the past were called myxoid, you know, variants of or multinodular myxoid schwannomas are actually probably nerve sheath myxoma. So I was like, oh, so that it, it proves the concept that they really are nerve sheath tumors. They kind of have a, a schwannoma like appearance occasionally. But I would say that's only a minority of cases that I've seen that have like the palisading. Usually what they have is more like um, more like this. This is really characteristic. You get spindle cells. And they kind of, uh, I feel like they kind of swirl around in this loose myxoid background. And they're like kind of spindle cells that are following each other, like in kind of a irregular rows that are spinning around. They're like kind of running around in circles in a big field of myxoid or something, you know. And, and it's kind of this vague whirling kind of swirling dance of, of spindly cells in a myxoid background. So this is a nerve sheath myxoma. And they are benign and, again, unrelated to cellular neurothechioma, even though occasionally cellular neurothechioma can look like this. If you get cellular nodular areas and areas like this, then you're dealing with a cellular neurothechioma. These areas, this tumor does not get cellular nodules, okay. but cellular neurothechioma does get loose myxoid areas. So, and again, I got that video that explains because this has been a source of endless confusion for people for years because the old literature has kind of confusing um, over, overlapping of the names. So anyway, that's a really nice, oh, there, that's a good palace. Look at that. See, it looks really like a varicay body, huh? Isn't that, yeah. isn't that wild? Really cool. And these are benign. They can recur sometimes, but they're benign. All right.